first of all, your girl got a hundred subscribers. Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on here and make a quick video because I don't have any like um, dialogue for my content. So what you're about to see is I did a, well call myself trying to do a video shoot and some editing, which I did do it and I'm going to insert the final clip, but a lot of my videos turned out blurry so I wasn't able to, you know, do what I wanted to do. Um, but you can still see the outfit, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And yeah, that was it. I just wanted to, you know, give you guys some context. I just want to come on here, come on here real quick and just run my mouth because y'all I, I got a five minute vlog like that's literally not okay I couldn't even get to 15 minutes you know five minutes is just not long enough but um I was thinking about making a video so boom first of all boom, first of all your girl got a hundred subscribers. <sighs> Again, I know that don't sound like much, but the fight it took to get to this hundred, like it was literally no joke. And I hit other milestones too. Like I got over 12K people visiting my channel. I'm getting over, you know, 1K views on my shorts. I'm getting a lot of love on my shorts. So I'm really happy about that. Like, you know, things are starting to come together. I'm starting to see the little light at the end of the tunnel. So that's pushing me to like be consistent and stuff like that. So shout out to the one Hundino. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's make a hundred subscribers, a hundred K subscribers. Okay. The girl is trying to get active, but I was going to make a video of like, how pretty much people be lying on their videos. Like, I know everybody has a different way of doing things to get where they need to be. But I also realized that people be lying on their content, like lying on the story times, making up fake be fake drama. Now the pranks, I feel like pranks be scripted too, but you know, we can get away with that. And I've even seen some videos and it's like, oh, how to get a thousand subscribers in a month or how I got such and such subscribers in four days. And I just be like, Raw. like I'm gonna lay it down for you. Um, so yeah, that's coming up soon. I just need to like put a little face on and I can't do it. Like, oh, I, I, okay. So I was gonna make a tutorial on how I did the little outfits put together, but honestly, I'm gonna hold that content just because, um, I don't know, my videos, my videos with the outfits, especially the second one, it really didn't do that well. Like, it didn't get that many views on TikTok. It got no views on YouTube. So I don't know. 
don't know what that's about. I don't know if like it's not good or I just posted at a bad time. And I even did repost on YouTube and I got the same results. So not really sure what's up with that, but I'm just sitting on that. Um, I, I actually got some stuff lined up. Like I got um, a haul, but that's real quick. I got a haul. <clears throat> I got, um, oh, I think that's it. <laughs> I see the, I see the fruitfulness and the beauty and the Lord forcing us to be patient with something that we want so badly, like being rich, going into the field that we want to go into, um, even maybe like having nice things, like. Oh yeah, I feel like the Lord has us wait on things because it's just like it's just like giving a one year old a AP or a Rolex. Like obviously they don't understand the value and you know how it works, why you bought it, how much it is, the appreciation of it because you know they're just not mature mentally enough to much to receive it like that um and everything god does is for our good so i feel like he would never give us a blessing because these blessings are big and they take a lot of responsibility to steward over and i know i just know that he would never give us these things if we were not ready because the word says that we will never get too much we will never get more than we can handle so sometimes with blessings being so big, it requires um, you to manage and just know one, how to steward over it and not make whatever is given to you bigger than God. Um, and that's something that we struggle with a lot. So um, that's, I feel like that's another reason why he has us wait for, um, you know, just some things to come into fruition in our life. Um, I don't know, like, when I think about me going into my career, my passion, I just always have to keep God in mind and thank Him because a lot of people struggle with wondering what their passion is, what their purpose is, like, and I'm here to say that you are not bound to one thing. You were made by the highest creator there is like literally God and the fact that he's omnipresent and he is of so many talents and the fact that he lives within us that gives us the power and authority to steward and be fruitful in many talents we are not bound to one thing just because you're good at one thing at something doesn't mean that you need to stick to that for the rest of your life or you're tied to that for the rest of your life you can literally be good at anything that you put your mind to because the word says anything that you want to do you will succeed in the name of jesus so um yeah, i know that i require a, a lot more consistency and a lot more discipline before i probably will be able to like fully steward over um my youtube channel and i've been praying on being okay i'm talking too much yeah i'm talking too much but um it's just some things that i've been trying to put in put into line and i know that um there's some things that me and him need to work on a little bit more before i can be rewarded of those things so I'm gonna say social media, I feel like, okay, cause the brain, I learned this, the brain, we have two sides. One compares and one just gets down like the facts or something like that. So naturally we're gonna compare some stuff. Like we're, we're, it's just gonna happen. It's no way around it. <clears throat> um, so I feel like, when people are like scrolling on social media and they see what other people are doing or what they have they automatically compare it to their situation and now they're feeling less than now they're feeling 
that they're not, you know, good at whatever they're doing. Now they're just feeling of not the same value. And that's why I got off social media and shoot, TikTok is starting to make me feel the same way now um, that I felt on from Instagram because I don't know, TikTok used to just be funny. Like, you just go on there to get a good laugh in. Like, it wasn't none of the serious stuff. But, like, now people is really using it to pay their rent. Like, doing the vlogs and all of that. Like, even getting on live, asking for money so they can get a hotel. Like, it's just sad now. Like, you could watch a TikTok and start crying. <laughs> you could watch a TikTok and start crying. Like, it, it literally was not like that. You would get on there and be laughing your ass off until 4 in the morning. Like, it was that type of vibe. That's literally the only reason why I cook, kept it. Because it didn't feel like social media. It just felt like a place where I could go to be myself. Because I like to make silly TikToks. So I was making TikToks and just to get a good laugh in. But it's just like, it's not like that anymore. And it's actually been affecting me um, for two reasons. Because, you know, the brain likes to compare. So, you know, you see somebody out of town or those tiktoks where people making money and stuff like that you know people live a facade life but when you see it you just for those first two or three seconds it's gonna be like oh i want that until you you know talk yourself out of it and it's just draining to like keep seeing that and not get a good laughing um